Good evening and uh, and welcome to the inaugural, the first ever, ever, ever venture on the other side of the Atlantic and welcome to um, the CMO 102 All-Star Atlantic League. Um, never before have we ventured into the US of A and we're doing it for the first time tonight. Um, delighted to say that joining me tonight is... Uh, is Mr. Dan, and um, wel- welcome to the chairmanship, Dan. Welcome to the All-Star League. How's it going, mate? Evening, mate. Yeah, really good. Really looking forward to this tonight. This is going to be good. Really good. I think so, mate. I think so. And just, just before we kick off, um, just a quick little ticker tape going along the bottom of, of the kind of reminder of of how we uh, how we've set this up and uh, how it's going to operate, um, and also just kind of the in game rules. So managers will have the opportunity to kind of change their team instructions for the first time ever, and um, also five subs and, and just a, a few different things that we're kind of trying to trying to see if they hold weight. Um, so for those that don't know. The All-Star Atlantic League is divided into three conference divisions. So the Eastern Conference who are, uh, consists of St. Domingo's, Memphis Reigns, Vikings and Drivetrain. The Central, which is Pelham, El Loco Fire, Alcatraz and the Dandies. And then the Western, which is the Steam Pigs, Short Pump and Gators. And we learn a little bit more about these teams as we crack on through the night. Um, any teams kind of standing out for you at the minute, Dan, ahead of the season? Uh, we did the preview thing last night, didn't we? And the that Steam yeah. Pigs squad looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, looks pretty, pretty solid. And yeah. um, and as always, if everybody kind of in the chat can just just let us know that you can hear us all fine and dandy, that'd be absolutely grand. Um, we are actually going to start with a requested inaugural game tonight, and that is um, the short pump sloths um, yeah. under the, the the stewardship of uh, of Rob Sloth. Um, not that you needed me to say that after Ayala and Anderson are the centre half's first game of the season. Um, and they play the Dandies, which is obviously my team. So this will either be very, very good or very, very bad. Dan, what do you make of this short pumps tactic? And was it what you were expecting? Uh, it wasn't what I was expecting at all, which is uh, interesting, isn't it? That's not, uh, you know, I would expect something that he was able to slip into free up top very easily. And I don't really see it on that, to be honest. And what you're thinking was that what you were expecting to see? I was expecting three up top, long arrows on on wing backs. That's what I was expecting. So we'll see how that uh, kind of plays out. Definitely that spine of Gattuso and Keane looks a little bit tasty. Zero Birdo and uh, Sally Hamadich, and um, we probably will see three up top from him at some point. Um, and they play the New York Dandies, which are obviously my side. And this is how we go tonight. Um, using the burn trident with a little diag arrow on um, on uh, Barry Ferguson, hoping to get him forward. Um, any thoughts on this eleven, Dan? 
Uh, I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. Um, Jeremy's excellent. He's going to be brilliant. Um, Ferguson with the arrow could be good. Uh, Ambrosini as well, very good. You can easily shift that back into a 2 4 one, two, one as well. So, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, definitely. Let's see how we get on. Um, so, this is a fixture which involves. Um, so what we're going to try and do as the season goes on is we're also going to try and kind of keep a record of an overall league table. So all 12 teams um, kind of outside of what champ will do, but then also kind of like a head head league table as well. So we'll be seeing who is the best conference. So essentially when teams are playing teams from other conferences, they're also playing for points on behalf of their conference as well um, to try and have a kind of a, a, you know, a strongest conference bronze, silver goal from start to finish. So this first game sees the central versus the West. What's your predictions here, Dan? Uh, I think you might be all right here. I'm going for a 2-1 Dandy's win here. I'd be very worried if we know we don't manage to score at least one past Anderson and Ayala, but we'll see how this how this build and how this database um, handles it. Archie back with a chance early on, but puts it wide. D'Alessandro in there. Deck go to Shevchenko, but also Archie back in there at the back end doing some defensive work. Show pump slots look to be falling um, into the kind of game a lot. They had a lot of text there, and Andrew Shevchenko does put them 1-0 up, and the Dandies are yet to score against Ayala and Anderson. Core comms and comms are looking a little bit of a mug here, and the short pump slots are one nil up at half time, having had three shots and two on target. We'll go to Rob's um, kind of stats at half time. Nothing really jumping out. Shevchenko as a lone striker um, is yeah, interesting and obviously, yeah. yeah, obviously effective. And um, as Tito says, this is the MI formation doing the business. We'll just let's see what Rob wants to do. Conventional subs change and arrows changes if he wants to, but also there's the opportunity to do a team instruction change. Um, I had a big question mark over whether I was going to go with Mart Poom or uh, Chiotis first game. I think you know it's either a, a really good first season Chiotis or a really bad, and it didn't cover himself in glory in that match report there. A couple of sixes um, and a couple of sevens, and I think all we will do is just push the wing backs on to get them into the game. Rob goes as is, and we keep it moving, and we'll go till 60, and we'll see if the Dandies can score against what looks to be a fairly weak uh, back three, but they're holding their own at this minute in time, and it is the short pump slots who put Shevchenko um, and the short pumps lost 2 nil up um going to the 60 minute mark and what a start this is for the short pumps loss um superb effort for back oh, and just on oh, 60 minutes he scores <laughs> and lo and behold um chiotis um is on a five and uh constantino's goal was ruled out so i think what we'll do is we'll get another big lump on there and we will go um iron robin and we'll go um direct passing there um, and we'll still have Ferguson doing bits over to short pump. They're going to go Zero Berto and Sally Hamadic. Rob Sloth in a defensive decision. Oh. Wow, that is unreal. <laughs> um, Deco, <laughs> Deco for Trezeguet, and um, three up top. There we go. Good evening, Alex. Um, nice to see you, mate. And also, Champino dropping in the chat. Hopkins is in the chat, and the short pump sloths are well ahead and well in control of this game. Shevchenko having an absolute blinder. Are they going to get a third? 65 minutes played. Dandies need a goal and they need a goal quick. Liza Rosa goes into the book and they do get a hat rick. Andrei Shevchenko has absolutely slain Chiotis and I would be very surprised if Chiotis does not get a four at full time. Oh, he's on a six. And short pump slots. Um, deservedly in the text and deservedly in terms of the stats, the MI formation doing wonders and the Dandies did not manage to score against the back three of Patrick Anderson and Fabio, uh, back two, sorry, uh, Fabio Ayala. What a start and Roy Keane doing what he does and pulling strings there. Any full-time thoughts there, Dan? Yeah, we're good, weren't they? Shevchenko, very good. You know, is he going to get a whole season up front? You know, that's the key. A lot of people say they're going to do it and then give up on him. But free to start with, great. Z Roberto, though, very good as well. His name was up a lot. Absolutely. That, there. that is the best start Rob could have hoped for and taking a punt <laughs> yeah. on some of those players. You know, Shevchenko up top definitely validates that decision now. What a hat rick and what a start. We go over to Pelham Pumas next, who are going to play. No, we're not because Dimble is a little bit tied up. We're going to go over to Domingos and Gators, mate, if that's all right. Yeah, good. Um, yeah. So we're going to go over to the Domingos, and this is how they go. 
unsurprisingly, Tato continues with a formation that's been really successful in uh, in kind of the you know the Premier Super League content, the Premier CMO one or two content for a long time, which is the Super League, and um, this is how he goes with those flat three DMs and of course the winging the winger power of Giggs and Zambrotta. What's your thoughts here, mate? Yeah, the two good wingers, and he's probably two of the best in the game. So he's going to play wingers there. That's a strong three as well, and it Mendieta, but Tomasi, yeah. It's that it's that back three, isn't it? The keeper and the two centre backs probably not amazing, but still with that in front of them, they should be fine. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I think um, that's probably the only the only area of weakness um, in terms of the uh, the team. But we'll see. Um, I also thought Ayala and Anderson was an area of weakness, so we'll see. Um, for those of for those of us that know your um, your brief but you know relatively successful um, reign in in the Super League, this is a this is a formation that you used well with gazelles and with far less good players on paper, and you always got to tune out of them. This is how you go the kind of the um, altered iodine with the one AMC and the the wing backs rather than the uh, flat back four. To core in there is it a big tackling DMC Veron. Van Bommel and Rui Costa in there as as uh, as three MCs is uh, is really good. Can you just tell me who your fourth sub was, please, mate? Uh, the Duca, um, I think. Yeah, the Duca, good lad. All right, I'm going to predict a two-two here, and we will kick off and see what happens. Gigs in there, really does, and there is Hussein right. off the mark. Gigs I hope there. that this is ominous for goals in the all stars and it's two Hoffland and Hussein double H will it be triple H by full time um, another chance but now Gators just trying to feel their way into it Jax has a chance and there wow. is Hussein Dan you're making me feel a hell of a lot better about my <laughs> result now you're 3-0 down and it's 4 wow this is an absolute murder um, 35 minutes in Will it be five? The Ron's name was mentioned very briefly. Five minutes added on, probably because of all the celebration. And we get to half time. St. Domingo's are absolutely cruising here and just looked really ruthless there, Dan, mate. Yeah, very good, weren't they? Yeah. Was, uh, I thought Giggs would be on the assist, but he's not even on the assist yet. Look at that. That's uh, no solo that's effort. Yeah. Unreal, isn't it? Um, and Kolashax has touched the ball once, but he, you know, he's, he's team are 4 0 up. The main AMC in that eleven, and he hasn't even, you know, he hasn't even done anything. Although he's, he's touched the ball, or he's passed the balls once. Sorry, yeah. beg your pardon. Um, and over to your good self, there's a couple of fives in there, mate. Buffon on a five with that skipper's arm band. Olivier Decour is not doing his bits, and also Van Nistelrooy and Totti. I'm guessing you're going to roll here, mate. Are you going to you're going to roll the dice and change something? Yeah. So if we go to it, we'll um, um, drop Van Bommel back into a two with Decour mm-hmm. and put Totti in the middle of. The three, yeah, and with an arrow as well. Just that, yeah? Yeah, that's it. Lovely. And um, Tato is going as is. Thank you very much for the yeah. quick, um, the quick. And oh, there's Rui Costa. What a change that is. Um, given that additional body in the MC position is maybe just exploiting the fact that there is no MC in there for the uh, the Saint Domingo's Bisons. Or get us back into this. And Hussein could have had a hat trick there. Hussein could have had a hat trick. Condition is a myth. Tato believes, but we'll just show him anyway. Ninety percent and eighty percent, and um, absolutely flying is Tato, you'd maybe, maybe think about, you know, Okrawonko for one of the centre-halves, but you're, you're probably under no obligation to do so. We'll see what Tato wants to do. Three of your, three of your, your four fives at half-time are still there. Ruby Costa's given you some hope. Dan, are you doing anything there, mate? Uh, yeah, can you swap Van Nistelrooy for Vaduka, please? How much patience are you going to have with Van Nistelrooy out of interest, mate? Um, he's going to be my main... Striker, yeah, I'm mm. going to stick with him. He can score goals. We know he can score goals. So absolutely, and I think early on, you know, that's a really key thing that those big strikers up top are, are going to hit form early doors. We've seen Shevchenko do it. We've seen Hussein do it, and similarly, we've not seen Ruud van Nistelrooy and um, and uh, your man Constantino not do it as well. And there is Didier Gat. So you know, second half, Gators are winning two nil, but the damage is already done. Um, and there is Giggs, and it's five. Of course, he was going to be involved at some point. And there is six. Wow. <laughs> wow. Is there something, you know, is there something in that tactic file that Tato's oh. formation has just absolutely exploited? Um, is not, but a Buffon not four out. is uh, is, a, is a big factor there. But just, who were you playing at the back, Dan, again? Hoffland and Cordoba have had a mare there, and Daco really hasn't covered himself in any glory, has he? Um, no. Not one to... Not one to remember, mate. And you know, if it's no, gonna happen, it. if you're gonna 
if you're going to have a ha have a hammer in, you may as well have it first game of the season and kind of quickly move on. But an early contender for uh, for performance of the night from the Domingos. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, very good. Um, we go over to the Iowa Steam Pigs, who are playing against Alcatraz uh, tonight. This is how they go. Um, some really, really strong defensive players in this formation. Stam, Samwell, and Zelius. Zelius, a big favourite of mine. Um, long championed him. Um, and now he's kind of in that elite bracket. Judge Atos and Beckham on the wing, supplying an Impenza. Again, could be the story of the night. That big strike as either do or don't get firing. What's your thoughts on this, Steam Pigs? Yeah, I liked them. I, um, looking through them last night, it's a very good side, isn't it? That's uh, strong at the back as well. You should do all right. Absolutely. We go over to one of the absolute greats of the CML 1 or 2 community and a really good mate of mine, um, Jimmy Hopkins with Alcatraz FC. Um, this is how he goes. I'm delighted that he's went to kind of what I would call a, you know, a classic Dragons 271. I thought about it myself, didn't do that. Um, this looks strong. Um, Davids and I in there as a DMC pairing, not sold on Raul Sand and Batistuta. And for anybody that was around in season seven of the Super League, um, you probably remember how bad Batistuta was for the Dragons. So interesting to see how that comes on. Any thoughts on the Alcatraz 11 there, Dan? Yeah, quite strong. Um, Batistuta can score goals. He just seems to struggle, with not he? So, yeah. But, um, yeah. Absolutely. And we will crack on and we'll see if the goal precedent, I mean, straight away, there's a hell of a lot of tax two minutes in. Maybe there is a thing in this league of, of kind of goals and um, just a little bit of madness. And there is Nedved. Nedved, who is a bit of a myth, depending on who you ask in the same one or two world, especially playing against human players and not the AI. Um, he's started like a house on fire there on eight minutes. Vita Bayer in there with a big save and a counter-attack from Alcatraz. Again, another big save. Steam Pigs just trying to grow into it now. Beckham with a couple of set pieces. Samwell goes into the book and a throw in and Petkov trying again to get the Steam Pigs back into it. I do love that Steam Pigs kit, by the way. It reminds us of the, uh, the Jean-Luigi Buffon um, goalkeeper kit for the centenary for Juventus. Yeah, really, like really that. good goalkeeper kit. Um, a yellow card for Samwell now, and Steam Pigs just really couldn't get hold of the hold of the ball there. 71% possession for the opposition. A little bit 50-50, but it felt, Dan, like Steam Pigs were struggling to really do anything at the top end of the pitch. Yeah, they seemed to be um, everything around the uh, the back and the defensive midfield, weren't it? But... Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, over to the Steam Pigs again. You know, it's a night of fives for some people, and when one of your more creative, um, you know, players is on a five, you, you're always going to struggle in front of goals. And Penza has just been totally shut down. Um, two shots on, two shots on, um, and one shot on target, but really not doing anything. And Champion, you're saying that's an absolutely boring half compared to what we've had previously. I would absolutely <laughs> agree, mate. Um, Hopkins, I have seen you um, earlier on, mate. So if you just let me know if any changes that you want to make and also stay. Um, it's, do you think anyone's going to blink here, Dan? Or do you think... No, uh... I think I'll stick. I think I'll stick. No need to make any changes. Right. Okay. Hopkins goes as is. Um, and uh, Horsin is stay here yet. Yeah, I know he requested to go a little bit early, but we probably got through the two games a little bit quick. So apologies. Um what would what would Steve be doing here if he was Steve? He can't get rid of Beckham because there's not another MR on the bench. He's centre halves on maybe a little bit of a liability, but you probably don't want to take Samwell or Stam off. You definitely no, don't want do, to burn he Harry Kuehl off. He could do something with moving Reclame up and then Petrov and you've got Nakata. You can maybe swap them, Nakata and Beckham over, see if you can get something more out of the width. Shall we go two AMCs for him? Yeah, I reckon so. Do you reckon? Yeah, I I think I think let's do two AMCs for him, um, and see and see how that gets on, and and I'll take the take the flag if he's if he's not happy with that. Um, we go on to fifty minutes straight away. Not as much text in there. George Atos with the ball. Raquel May is offside. Beckham again struggling to really have an impact. Fifty nine minutes, but there is Raquel May and Nakata puts it wide. But but the shooter on his debut. I think whatever I've said will happen hasn't happened and the opposite has happened tonight, Dan. I was going to say, yeah, um, every result has gone the opposite way tonight, hasn't it? <laughs> so. Yeah, but also, but also I've, I've put the kiss of death on uh, on Batistuta and he scored and then actually put the kiss of death on Ayala and Anderson that kept a clean sheet um, <laughs> against Constantino, Robin and back. Um, there's for Steve when he when he does have a look um, and over to the Alcatraz FC guys. 
Um, no escape is the tactic file, but they don't need to escape because they're two 0 up here and and flying. No yellows, yeah, no sixes. Good. Really, really solid. Um, what would you do here if you're Hopkins? Uh, nothing. Yeah, absolutely nothing. Yeah, going really well. Ed Cadavid's having a great game in there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was really surprised to see Davids in DM because me and yeah. Hopkins both love Davids in MC. Um, and yeah. I thought he could do some absolute damage alongside Nedved, but Hopkins is winning tonight and I'm not. Um, so what do I know? So Hopkins, if you could just let me know, mate. Um, I'm guessing we're going to get an as-is. And we'll see what he's going to do. Um, any immediate thoughts on that hammering you've just had, Dan? Uh, yeah, we we'll have to have a look at it. That was, um, that was always going to be a tough game against Tate. I knew that, um, but I didn't expect to get hammered. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, I've, yeah, absolutely. You don't want to hammer enough fucking Rob Sloth on game one, do you? Could have been worse, mate. <laughs> um, Steam Pig's really struggling to get amongst this. And there is the full time result. Oh, and, yeah, a, and, a, and, a, and a really un Hopkins like professional, <laughs> professional 2 0 home win. He'll be coming out in hives and showing fucking his allergies for that performance, I think. And Gabriel Batastuta, man of the match. I know nothing about this game. Um, yeah. Played the Hopkins unlucky stay. Um, sorry that we probably went a little bit earlier than you thought, um, but we are making good pace tonight. Um, sixes and fives and Dimbles in there with a Hopkins in. Two centre halves on yellows, but they did struggle to uh, to to do anything with that. And and horse, as always, is in there. With there's no escape from Alcatraz with any points for the Steam Pigs. Um, over to the Alaska Vikings tonight, and they are playing El Loco Fire. Um, currently top of the Super League, which which probably is you know without doubt the most challenging CMO one or two competitive uh, format at the minute. And um, you know Jens is 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 got a good pedigree, so this is ominous, and this is uh, the tactic that that he has been using to some great effect. Um, any thoughts on this eleven front of back, Dan? Yeah, if we can get an Elka going straight off, that's what we've mm. said about all the strikers, isn't it? If we can get him yeah. going straight off, then yeah, he's going to do well. It's. I think it's really interesting that even after like three games, there's like narratives developing straight away. You know, strikers are scoring, keep us on fours. You know, it's, I just fucking love CMO one or two, mate. Honestly, <laughs> um, and then over to uh, a local fire managed by the man that I would call Scotty Bostock, even though Bostock don't exist anymore. Um, long time um, legend of the Super League went away for a bit and has come back to this and is really dying to kind of cut his teeth and get back in now. Um, some some home favourites of his in here and the big man up top, Maxim Segalko. I'll hold you to this, Dan, but what version of Segalko do you think we're going to get? Is he going to fire or is he going to flop? I think he's going to do all right in this one. We've had a couple with him Super League. Well, he hasn't, hasn't he? A couple of seasons, so I reckon he's going yeah. to do all right. Reckon he's going to do all right. <laughs> Steve Wright's just dropped into the... Uh... <laughs> Just dropped into the uh, into the chat, and he's probably going to be fuming with me that uh, that um, yeah. Oh, have I made a mistake there and put? Oh, I think I fucked up there, Dan. Let me just check that. I think I've put Giovanni into AMC and not Nicky Ferenko. Um, and if I have Scott, you're the victim of my first mistake of the season, which I can only apologise for. Um, if you can let me know what you want to do there, Jens. Let me know what you want to do with that change. Yeah, I fucked up there, Scotty, and I'll have to take that on the chin, mate. Apologies. Um, Jens, if you want to let me do what you want to do. It's got to be um, uh, in it. Yeah, Zanoni can go in there as well, and it is Zanoni he goes for just slightly, probably more defensive alongside uh, alongside um, Imor as that creative uh, creative influence. Yeah, Scott, I massively apologies there for you, mate. Um, that's, that's on me if you get bad idea. But it probably isn't going to be 6 2. So I really do apologize. Then it does put Vikings 1 0 up. There is Giovanni getting involved. Fraction offside for Vikings, but they are still kind of keeping Giovanni with a chance and kept out. And uh, a local really struggling against that defensive solidity of Vikings. Interestingly, Jens is on course for a, a Super League record lowest goals conceded ever in the Super League if he maintains his current form. Sixes and sevens and eights. Anything standing out for you there? Um, yeah, it's the is it the two centre backs on both on eights? Ronnie Johnson in there. Yeah, I love Ronnie Johnson. Love him. He's class. And then over to the El Loco Fire. Um, Vogel on an eight, Maxim on a six, and the rest other than Rio on a five. I was unlucky at Gazelles and had a really dud version of Rio Ferdinand, who looked class stats wise, but just churned out fives for fun. Um, and uh, 
yeah, was 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 disappointed in him. We haven't had any draws yet, have we? So just just in no, case no one's yet. aware that's <laughs> watching, um, if you have a draw in the All Stars after ninety minutes, it automatically goes to Golden Goal extra time. And only if it's a draw after one hundred and twenty minutes does anybody get does anybody get a point really? Um, yeah. So we'll just see what Scott wants to do. He's he's probably fucking turning the air red about me at the minute. Um, <laughs> I'll have to send him a, a hamper of like Leeds United chocolates or something. Um, Tate will just rub and salt in the wound there by asking for Nicky Ferenko on. Yeah, I'll tell you what <laughs> we'll do. What we'll do is we'll give him a nickname. We'll call him Nicky Ferenko. Soz Scott, mate. Um, and, and we'll put him on. Yeah, genuinely, Scott, I am. I am sorry about that, mate. Zidane for Tudor. Move to CM. Cabello for Giovanni, and if you just let me what you know what you want to do with the the arrows there, Scott on uh, on Vogel and Van Bronckhorst, um, and if you want the arrow on the AMC, um, a logo didn't look as bad as me and you did, but they just couldn't create at that top end of the pitch there first half. Dan, yeah, nothing going forwards was a that was the problem, but yeah, like you say, <laughs> we've both had that problem tonight. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> I arrows on DMC. Um, no, is that no to the AMC on Cabello, Scott, mate? Um, just clarify for us there after I've uh, fucked up Nicky Ferengo. He signed him from me as well, so that that's probably worse <laughs> that I've kind of sold him Nicky Ferengo <laughs> for Robin and then haven't played him. Um, and it, arrow on Cabello, no arrows on DMC, I'm guessing. I'm guessing yeah. that's what you want. Yeah, if you could just give us a quick little yes. Um, just just while we're for Scott, we're plan at the minute is to is to kind of stream this once a week, Dan, on a Wednesday night, to kind of alternating turns. Yep, yep. Definitely. And, yeah, um, we'll talk to it next week. And um yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll probably <laughs> yeah, what we'll uh, what we'll probably do is, you know, every now and again we'll look to chuck in a, a you know, a bit of a bit of a bonus uh a bit of a bonus, bonus, bonus show week every now and again. 63 minutes. Andre with a fantastic save. Not sure if you are aware, Dan, but Scott is a big advocate for Andre. He was massive for him at Bostock. Um, and he hasn't really been seen in the Super League since. Um, so no, I know really when, um, who was who was really struggling with their keeper the other week in the Super League, and I saw him um, shout Ross. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I saw him absolutely. shout for Andre straight away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's Scott's ratings and there is his condition just in case he wants to do anything remember Scott you can pull the trigger on the team instructions um, over at the Jens really really solid in the middle of the park Derry are doing bits Steve Wright will be fuming at that um, given that Derry has been a little bit poor for him at Dudley in the Super League recently kind of all on a nine with that captain's armband tells you all you need to know and conditions wise nothing really to worry about although plenty of attacking options on the bench and Honshaw sure who can come on if needs be um, stats wise, let's just see what's happened. Loco again struggling beyond one shot, and this is a, a seminal moment um, in All Stars. We have Park G Sung coming on for Cosmin Contra. Dan, what do you think about that? Yeah, I like Park G Sung. Obviously, as a Man United fan, I think he's great. But <laughs> yeah, um, a couple of seasons in, he gets very good. First season, I think he's okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I'm 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 all for these kind of you know players that we've not seen before getting chucked in there. Home safe favourites. I think it's a good balance between the elite and the favourite. A local fire definitely looked miles better since the changes. Seventy three minutes. I think we'll slow this one down. See if we can get some golden goal. Ronaldo to Sigal go. Park Ji Sung Van Broncos body checked by Cannavaro Zidane Van Broncos Zidane Park Ji Sung Cabello and Cuenca does turn the ball away. There's a goal coming for a local fire. You felt there, but he's not going to do it. Imar continues, goes by Gareth Southgate. Four minutes gone of added time to come. Cannavaro, Jonsson, Desai, Zanetti. He's out wide. He shoots. And Andre again with another big save. Corner kick. Mackay and just puts it over. Can they create one more chance at local fire? Ronaldo's offside. Said passes it down to Dede. And uh, Mackay puts them to bed. And that is 2-0 to Vikings with a clean sheet. Scott, mate, you can absolutely blame me and I'll take that on the chin that uh, I owe you on there. But I'm really sorry about Nicky Ferenko. It's probably a bit of a reason as to why you struggle to create. But outside of that, that was a really dominant Vikings performance. 2-0, clean sheet, Ryan McKay, man of the match and front to back, positive ratings. What's your thoughts there, Dan? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's got the ratings in the right place. I mean, look at that one. One of the attacking players, defensive midfielder, and the two centre backs. That's exactly what you want. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Over to our local fire, you know, not not great, but also, you know, nowhere near horrific. Um, and Dimbles just said that that is the same old Vikings. There's a little bit of a, of ominousness um, <laughs> on there. Yes, yeah, um you've already been up, mate, and uh, and you got done two 0 by Hopkins. Um, but that's more to do with the fact that we're rattling through at a decent pace. Um, over to the uh, the Memphis Reigns, led by Sam on the Rocks, and against the the Mega Horse Demon uh, Des Moines. Um, again, another three DMC wingers. You know, this is really becoming a, a really strong formation, a really strong setup. But these players are probably. To the to the casual viewer, there's a lot of players in here that you would have never came across, Dan. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, for um, for us that know how rocks works, yeah, that was um, if you were going to write him out, how he was going to set up and what he was going to look like, that was it. So, <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And um, is this the last game of the night? How many games have we done? What have we not done? So we've done one, two, yeah, three, four, uh, five. We've got one more. Is that? Yeah. Drive, drive train, train against Pelham. Yeah. 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 Class. Love that. Good pace. Um, and over to the Des Moines Demons. And we did the preview show, Dan, where we kind of tried to preempt what Horse was going to do. What I will say is this is nowhere near as bad shit as what I thought Horse was going to do. Um, no, but I think you were pretty close when you said yeah. that. You moved some players around, didn't you? And you said, and that was kind of what it looked like. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we do have... Some proper horsey players in here. Um, Yahaya is in there. Never heard of him. Haledi, never heard of him. Um, among some absolute like mainstays. Um, and that is the most horsey bench that I think I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, and Dimble doing a horse impression there, trying to like pay homage to the master by saying, "Who the hell are you, is that?" Uh, what's your <laughs> prediction here, Dan? Mate? Oh, I'm going to go uh, two nil Memphis Reigns. <laughs> But we know how that's gone tonight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Hell of a lot of permission. Uh, hell of a lot of possession for the Demons oh. Demons. And there is Exeter Berea, wrong captain. You let me know who the captain is there, um, horse. When you do that, um, and uh, I'll be so. Who, who is he having as captain over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. I think it was auto captain. Yepes maybe. Told that he doesn't like. He doesn't like it. Um, he doesn't like a keeper captain horse. No, I don't, I think. don't like keeper captain either. I understand that yeah. one. Back at Gazelle's, yeah. Martin used to want Barthez, and I'm like, no, nah, you're just asking for a four. Don't do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, striker, was Barthez, was never, never have a striker as a captain either. Yeah, was Barthez um, absolutely class for you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But we should have been bat with that squad that I had when we first went to Gazelle's. We should have been battered every week, but he kept us in it definitely. And it is. I should have known that. I should have known Simkoviak was was skipper. Um, yeah. All right then. So we'll see. Oh, is Rox in the chat? I haven't seen Rox at all because he does have a chance to respond. I haven't seen Rox at all, and I know he was a little bit crazy at the minute with his kind of coaching and stuff. Um, yeah. So we will crack on, and then if Rox drops in and suddenly says, "I need to make a change for having the man advantage," then we we'll, we will do that. Um, Let's do that there. Des Moines with a lot of the ball early doors, and they've continued that despite having the, the numerical disadvantage. And there is Helady. Only Dan Megahorse could get a fella called Helady that we haven't heard of scoring and going 1 0 up. And there is Toldo with a big save. Um, a horse there saying that he doesn't like Vieira as captain, he's a bit too aggressive. And there is Marcelo Gallardo, and um, one of those maverick wingers that either fires and flies or flops, and he is on um, an injury. On uh, on thirty eight minutes at the minute, um, probably in the absence of rocks, Dan, and I'll give him a couple of minutes. I'm going to say Giordo for Saviola and move Ortega at the MR. Yeah, I was going to say that, or it's Patricio Camps at wide right in it. But it's, yeah, I yeah. think I think yeah, yeah I think one, you're right. one, one nil up, one nil down. You've got to get Saviola on the pitch. I'm really surprised that that, that I think that's what I predicted. Ortega, Saviola, and those two up yeah. top, which which automatically for me yeah, looks looks strong. a hell of a lot stronger. So we will make that change because he, he, we haven't seen him, and um, I think it's it's logical and, and and reasonable. And we're eight minutes away from half time, and uh, Mega Horse is doing horsey things, and this is why we love him and his weirdness. Um, and uh, we get a half time, a Giordo injury, a Helady goal, and Jose Exteberia being sent off. Uh, but the Des Moines demons are that demonic; they don't need eleven on the pitch. 
shots on target the same but shots on goal just slightly different but possession wise Dan it certainly felt as though the Moines were really in control of that ball that Crespo chance that drew the save from Toldo yeah there was far more um takes on the Des Moines wise um Rocks will be disappointed I think he um yeah so uh his his man Gomez on there on an eight going well but yeah. Melito on the five is an interesting one isn't it to the, to the casual, season. to the yeah. casual, casual viewer, you're probably sitting there thinking, "Why the hell is Ariel Ortega <laughs> in, goal. Uh, in the goalkeeper yeah. position?" And one of the things about the MLS is you don't assign squad players; they're all automatically assigned. Um, this is just how Rock sets up his his tactic files. He's yeah, he's rocks, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Go over to the Des Moines. Um, a lot of the ball for the defensive players, and they're just really controlling the game, looking very untroubled. Certainly, yeah, look that at that, yeah, right. 20, twenty passes, twenty yeah. completed. Yeah, what a beast. But but the horse will not have him as captain because he's a bit too aggressive. <laughs> that's yeah. that's the nuance that mega horse finds in, in the database. Do you know what I mean? Like I'd be like, Yeah, Paddy Vera, best player on the pitch, yeah. give him the armband. Um yeah. that's probably why I'm not as good at the game as him. And we go to 60 minutes because Rox isn't here. Fine save. There is Vieri putting on the pressure for the Memphis Reigns. Can they get one back and take us to the first ever golden goal? We go to 58 minutes and we're going to click and we jump to 63 minutes. Kieran Dyer chased down with a free kick. That's Sim Koviak, who was 20 for set pieces, I believe, um, is stood over the free yeah. kick. Yes, he is indeed. Um, we'll see what Dan wants to do. Um, he's not a big believer in condition, but he does sometimes like to make a little bit of an in-game change. Um, and <laughs> this is how my night's going, Dan. I've said he's not a big believer in conditions and he's asked to see the conditions of the players. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, literally, as those words were coming out my mouth. Um, so we'll see what he wants to do there. Those six is maybe a little bit of a concern for Simkoviak, potentially um, bring on someone like Lucenhoff and, and, and for Helody and maybe put Simkoviak as the EMC or up here with a back roads arrow as he likes to do, just while he's thinking about what to do. We will go over to Rocks for when he comes up. Loads of fives tonight, Dan. What do you reckon? Yeah, there is, isn't there? From players you're not expecting either as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and we'll show Roxy's conditions there. Nothing massive to worry about, but they've probably they've probably not uh, not grafted enough to be be a bit knackered. Um oh Dan's a massive believer in conditions. There we go. That's a that's how oh, my yeah. uh, how my night is going. Um so we're gonna go with uh Yahaha off for Kadoza. Where's your ha ha again? Oh, he's up top, isn't he? Um, we've got Cardozo. Is that Cardozo? That was it, Benfica. Is that? Yeah, I think so. That, yeah, is yeah. That the, he was what a player Can't he was. Something like that, wasn't he? Yeah, what a player he was. What a guy. Um, I think he was, he was like he was tiny, but he was just class, and he had a spell probably around about like oh seven oh eight, where he was just unbelievable for Benfica. Maybe even actually earlier. Uh, it's not the same one. Thanks, Scott, mate. I appreciate that. Uh, just with a straight no, just like, shut the fuck up, Doug, and you're having a mare. Um, and uh, we'll just pull pull rocks up and see what uh, what uh, yeah, Tato's then obviously sticking the knife in. That's Oscar Cardozo. That was Oscar Cardozo. Oscar Cardozo, surely not. We're on 64 minutes, and um, Shira is in horses squad, I think. Um, yeah, yeah, we said about him last night, didn't we? It's strange that he was going with one recognized striker and then he doesn't even make the score. He, he doesn't even play him. And there is Oscar Cardozo <laughs> from Benfica scoring, and there is a third, the 10. <laughs> the 10 men goals have came to life 3 1. Saviola gets in there. Um, and uh, oh wow, what welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to the all star Atlantic League, welcome to the All-Star Atlantic League. My side tonight, Tato, got absolutely pumped by the short pump sloths 3-0, and I didn't lay a glove on him. Um, wow. Horsey doing horse things. Loads of goals. Welcome to the All-Star Atlantic League. Inject it into me every day of the week. Um, what's your thoughts there, full-time, Dan? Uh, what performance that was. <laughs> yeah. Oh, three. We've got a three. We've got to keep a three. Ah, uh, okay. We've not been at the top, so we put you off, don't you? Because you what? I thought his keeper mm -hmm. must have had a bad game, and I was like, no, he got a six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely class. Um, unreal. And we'll just there's the the fans are already being to see Johnny Hellady and um, fucking Yaya Turi up top. So let's just have a little look. I mean, oh, I hate a player as well with a defensive and a striker. The horse like, loves them. The horse absolutely loves them. It's Romashenko, another one. Oh, he's not on the bench, but I think Romashenko is another one who's a DMCFC. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> Rob slots in, putting the keeper there can just fuck off. You deserve to get bummed. Um, <laughs> yeah, totally, totally distracting. Well played to uh, to Dan Mega Horse and uh, unlucky to um, unlucky to rocks. Get us to the last game of the evening: Drive Train versus Pelham. Um, this is how they go with it. With I've, I've not really seen Savage play this formation very much, but what we did call is we did call the other night those two DMCs, the back three, obviously, which is really, really fucking solid, scarily solid, and yeah. Rivaldo and Figo on the wings. Skulls backwards arrow into MC is, is interesting um, in terms of, you know, when they've got the ball, he'll drop into there as an MC, and when they haven't got the... Sorry, when they have got the ball, he'll be up there as an AMC, and when they haven't got the ball, he's in there as a second MC. Thoughts on that, eleven? Yeah, it's not going to concede many, is it? But way it's gone tonight, <laughs> perhaps it will. <laughs> yeah, Savage, just let us know who your captain is, mate, and I'll uh, I'll, I'll amend that for you. Um, Probably Nesta, surely Nesta. I think of, uh, of 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 all the concepts, I I struggled to understand what Mike was meaning by drivetrain. Dan, I don't know if you got it. Did you get it? Was like auto related. I thought it was something to do with cars, yeah. And we've had a chat about cars, me and him, after that. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, I, the first graphic I did for him was like a fucking train on the front, like a logo engine. I thought <laughs> I thought it was like a locomotive engine reference, and he was like, "Duggan, it's not trains, it's fucking cars." So, so I had to like get him like a, I mean, he's probably going to say I've said it wrong, but like a V8 engine or a fucking V6, I don't know, some sort of engine on the front. Really didn't have a clue. I thought it was a fucking train. I think he, I think he was deeply offended. Um, by the fact that that was it. Um, <laughs> let me just check Savage's submission. Nesta, Nesta as uh, as captain. Thank you very very much. Um, and they go over to I think definitely the 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 manager with the best pre stream graphic. You know he done it all on Excel, like fucking Dimble done. He's, did you see it or not? Yeah, I did. Yeah, Excel. yeah, like done, <laughs> done on Excel. In some random fella with a Teribo West display picture was like oh my god that's amazing what colors what graphic and he said like <laughs> yeah yeah it was done on excel like as if it was a flex it was class like the way it read um but yeah all about this guy in amc though dan yeah and that front toe as well that's yeah, yeah this also looks ominous um interesting to see how joey cole and and, and uh, mike do mike duff in particular do his mrs and mls this early in the game um but yeah that looks ominous and uh that looks dangerous prediction here for the last game of the night uh a draw i think i think we're gonna have our first extra time yeah let's finish with the first uh let's finish with the first golden goal extra time tonight no draws in the All Star Atlantic at the moment. There's some car chat going on in the chat, which is well above my head. If it's got four wheels and it gets us to where I need to be, that'll fucking do me. 40 minutes played, drawn so far. Montella with half a chance, curls in. Fabian Bartes doing what he does and keeping the ball at the back of the night. And then Rivaldo has a chance up the other um, end. Now, for those that maybe haven't kind of talked about drivetrain or heard us talk about drivetrain, in all home saves, they have been really fucking hard to score against, Dan. Yeah, there was there was honestly one game I should have screenshotted it where I had twenty seven shots at goal and mm. lost two 0 It was unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, class. Um, so there, those are um, Mike's kind of stats. But you know, the, these are two teams who are definitely going to be kind of at the at the right end of their conferences, probably at the right end of the entire league, um, and being really competitive. Although Dimble, um, you know, he's on a, he's in a bit of a bit of a poor run of form in the Super League at the moment, and um, that's kind of continuing a bit like me with these attacking players really not being able to do anything. Mike Duff and Joe Cole might just be about the, the the only thing I've got right this tonight in terms of questioning whether they can do that ML and MR role on sixes at half time and Mike Duff in uh, in the book. Um, Mike is going as is. Yeah. And we'll just see what Dimble wants to do there. I think that kind of makes sense. You know, neither side looked as though they need to change anything. You probably just need to get the first goal and then show things up with the back. Yeah, I reckon so. Yeah, I don't think Dimble will change, to be honest. Um, and he doesn't. He goes as is, and we will see if there is a goal to break the deadlock or if Drive Train and Pelham. And there is a goal on his debut. Lee Boyer and MC. We get to 60 minutes, and there is Montella who just puts one over the bar with Mike Duff nearly chipping in with his first assist of the season. We'll come to Dimble as he may want to do a little bit more, having just went behind. Um, we'll give him a couple of seconds just to look at his ratings. Ron Haldino not really doing much in uh, in AMC, getting dominated by Scali and Gianna Cheddar, words you never thought you'd hear. Um, and uh, Taibi seems to have pulled off a couple of saves since half-time. Condition-wise, um, this is how we That's go for Dimble. Nothing really to write home about. And over to Savage, who is not a man who likes to change much, 
but schools Delvecchi and Henri struggling against that three DMC line as you'd expect. But Lee Boyer with the forward runs from MC has came up trumps and uh, has put his team one nil ahead. And there's a bit of uh, a delayed response to uh, to Scotty asking about Helady. Um, Horses saying that he doesn't think he has anything good for intrinsics. Um, Scott asked him if it was an intrinsic thing. Um, he was just good when I signed him off Mike for for Niestved on a network save. And that's kind of like if you're a football player, you kind of want Dan Megahorse as your manager because he has this yeah. like it, you know ingrained loyalty to the players that he was that he that he signed 20 years ago and um you know it have been good for him ever since. So let did me you, just um, get did you see Swim last night? He was no, I didn't catch it. He was absolutely on fire after our stimble. It was unbelievable, Mega Horse. We were really? saying things and he was he was knowing it off the top of his head quicker than Dimble could look it up on Wikipedia. It was unbelievable. What sort of stuff? Oh, just like obscure footballers. And like, yeah, he's, he's ridiculous. We he's said ridiculous. about um, uh, Lentini at Milan. And we were like, oh, wasn't he once the most expensive player in the world? And within seconds, Mega Horse was like, yep, 13 million. And we're like, wow. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think if, if it wasn't for CMO 1 or 2, Horse would have would have had at least three dead bodies stored in his loft by now. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think I think football knowledge kind of stops him from going on a murderous, like, Columbine rampage. Um, yeah. And um, Dimble goes Agahawa for Ado, swap with Duff, one for Clivert, and then cheers. So Mikey Duff just dropping into DMC. Mike Savage goes as is. And I'm kind of, sorry, Savage, I'm kind of cheering on Dimble here to try and get us to extra time golden goal. Um, but that might have to wait. And there is Michael Owen. It is Michael Owen who maybe gets us close to an extra time golden goal um, off on 85 minutes. Drive train now trying to drive home advantage home. Rivaldo skimmed the top of the ball. We're going to get extra time. Dan, it's happening. It's happening. Del Vecchio, Figo, Tybee with a big save. End of 90 minutes. Yes. And we have our first extra time golden goal potential of the night. And Rob Sloth is in there with spin the wheel, um, which is <laughs> class. And Tato pointing out that somebody actually scored against them well in. Um, so we'll go over to Pelham first. Now, just as a reminder, both managers have the opportunity to change their team instructions. It's an open save, so people are going to be able to see what people have set as team instructions anyway. Um, yeah. And obviously, naturally, you'd see it if someone changed. So for Dimble, Tybee with a big save at the end there, keeping the minute on a nine. Sixes and sevens and eights in there. And condition-wise, um, only Joe Cole really struggling a little bit on the left-hand side. Maybe uh, Kakeba Kaladzi in there as well on 80%. Over at the drivetrain. Oh, I don't know about you, Dan, but they looked in control of that for probably three quarters of the game. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Skull's disappointing there. I wonder if he may be tempted to switch in with Del Vecchio and without the arrow, because Del Vecchio is left-sided as well, isn't he? So. Yeah, Dim Dimble is Dimble is uh, you know playing that no MC formation, isn't he? So uh, it could be interesting to have the two of them in there. Um, over to conditions for Mike. Um, nothing massively standing out. The eighty-two percent and the eighty-one percent and the eighty percent maybe in there, but it is Dimble that blinks first, and Dimble goes Kalosny for Cole, Agahawa to ML, and Duff to to MR. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense that I think. Um Champino, he was gonna say, um, so horse asked, is there many that don't like me after Champino said he loves them? Um yeah. and Champino says, only by those who haven't worked under you. Shira was ready to chin you until Big Johnny bagged his brace. Um back over to Savage. Um we'll just give him a couple of more um a couple of more minutes just to decide what he's gonna do there. Um cheers for everybody that's kind of dropped in tonight. Obviously, it's been a been a been a goal fest, I think, Dan. Um yeah, I'm sure yeah. you'd agree. Uh yeah. Um not probably the right way for either of us, but <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Do you know what though, mate? I am uh schools off a of commandini and done. I'm kind of just bang up for this being absolute chaos, to be honest. And I'm not really yeah, asked definitely. about being that competitive. Like um uh, Henri for schools, swapping with schools, schools off for Cavendini, no arrow on Henri at AMC. Yeah, brilliant, excellent. Thank you very much, gents. So just a reminder, they do have the option um, to, to go team instructions, but they haven't. There'll be no changes at 105, and the next goal is the winner. Otherwise, we have our first score draw shared points of the night. Um, shall we go fast for extra time? I think we should. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah. Thierry Henry hits a hopeful looking shot and he scoops it over the ball. Ronaldinho managing to get in there. Agahawa to Owen. Michael Owen 
but Juliano gets the ball um, and uh, it's a foul and a free kick. Who's going to take it? Rivaldo, can he whip it in? Boya is in there. Petit in there. 95 minutes played. They will be absolutely rattling, even though it's first game of the season. Nobody wants to be done in golden goal extra time. <laughs> um, Wall deflects a shot from the free kick for Ronaldinho. Comandini now. Scali gets in there, lobs it. Henri to Del Vecchio and Nesta in there. Pelham retain possession. Really, really defensive effort here from Pelham. You feel as though drive train are just stepping up the pressure here. Rivaldo again with another free kick. Boya to Rivaldo. Comandini and Sammy Hoopia gets in the way of the ball. Ronaldinho offside. Gianna Cera now, who's had a great game. Comandini to Rivaldo. Del Vecchio puts it over the ball. Drive train must have had five good opportunities here um, to really put the game to bed. And uh, yeah, Pelham have had nothing. Yeah. So we'll just show the lads what they were looking at at extra time and half time. But again, there's no changes at extra time and half time. So this is just purely for their own reference. Um, Drive train living up to the hype of being really solid front and back so far, Dan. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, probably um, deserved it in normal time as well, didn't they? But yeah, yeah, yeah. If the, if the goal was six inches higher, they'd, they'd have been fifteen one up by now. They've all scooped them over the bar. So we will go to full time and shout out to, to Dimble and uh, Savage for giving us this extra time. Um, Montella, can they nick it? Drives it. It hits the ward work. Hits the post and bounces clear. What a robbery that would have been. Bartes now. Janicera finds it to Boya, Del Vecchio, Rivaldo, Thierry Henry, Figo, Comandini, Taibi gets in there. What a game he has had. But they're just chucking the ball back to drivetrain every time they try. Bartes, Uliano, can they create one more? Kalushni, the super sub, Bartes, and again, it's offside. Montella and Ronaldinho have been caught offside a hell of a lot tonight. We do get our first draw of the evening, but luckily for us, it came in the in the last game. Drive Train didn't offer much in that second half of extra time, and that's how we finished, just as we thought. Taibi with a man of the match performance after some big saves that they pulled off, but I just want to quickly have a look. It felt mad, and that is mad. Seven offsides for Montella and five offsides for Ronaldinho. Wow. That feels crazy, that. Um, and you'd probably say if Savage is if if Savage is playing offside trap and the two defenders he's got are two of the best on the game, then they're just absolutely uh, picking them off. Um, over to uh, over to um, the drivetrain, who again looked really really solid, but just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. That brings us to our classifieds. So we have a win for the Central Conference against the Western Steam Pigs there with two goals, really solid. A little bit 50 50, but just Ned Fed and Batter Shooter scored at the right times. And um, Steve couldn't quite make it in time because of the pace that we were making. So, um, probably should have delayed you a little bit longer there, Steve. So, that's on me. And um, Dandy's getting absolutely pumped by the short pump sloths. Big question marks around one striker, Constantino, and no question marks against the other, which is Andre Shevchenko, who gets a hat rick on his short pumps debut. A win for the Western against the Central there. So it's ones each. Central have got a one win and the Western have got one win against the Central. Um, Drive Train and Pelham have just seen out the first ever historic golden goal, but there was no golden goal with Boya and Owen. Um, yes, Tato, that would be amazing. Yeah. Um, and uh, Memphis Reigns um, got hammered with 10 men, basically, mate. They, they, they absolutely had a ballroom blitz in the last 10 minutes and, and won 4-2 in the end. Um, St. Domingo's with a performance of the night with a Ryan Giggs uh, goal and a couple from, from everybody else. St. Domingo's 6-2. Sorry, Dan, but that was, uh, that yeah. was a bit of a battering. Um, were they 4-0 up at halftime? Yeah, yeah. 4-0 up at halftime. Um, and then the Vikings doing what the Vikings have done for a while now across all formats in winning 2-0. And I have to hold my hands up and apologise for not including Nicky Ferenko in either the match day squad or the bench. So, gents, um, that concludes um, game week one. Um, I'm going to get packs out for game week um, two straight away. And the save will be uploaded to a shared drive. Anybody who's watching who um who who maybe isn't a manager, more than happy for the for the save to be shared. I'll put it on the Twitter so you can download it and play with some of the teams and have a little bit of a mess around. We'd love for you to kind of play along week to week with us and kind of see what fixtures you get. Um, but I'll do I'll do packs and I'll do the save sharing as well, just in case anybody's struggling. Um Jens with a great question. Should I support the other teams in my conference? I think I would probably be saying until you play them, yeah, definitely. Represent your conference and um, you know, try and try and be 
you know, conference, conference, conference winners. <laughs> um, cheers to the likes of Champino and Alex who've dropped in. You know, they're not involved as managers, but I'm sure we can find a way for you to be involved, lads. We'd love to love to have you as part of it in this little weird thing that we're we're trying to get off the ground. And again, it's purely just for the crack, purely just for the laughs, and purely to keep us sane after shit days at work. I think. Um, any any important comments from you, Dan? No, it's a good start, wasn't it? Plenty of goals. That's what we wanted to see. Plenty of entertainment. Um, yeah, a couple of managers already with some things to think about. So that's good. Me, uh, what me, and, you, me and you being one of them. <laughs> yeah, mainly being us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I, I think, you know, that probably puts to bed any any early conspiracy theories. The fact that the two stream and chair and managers have both been absolutely pumped on day one. Um, yeah, it's what, pretty I mean, good, that, yeah, isn't we, it? You know, we got me. <laughs> we've, got, we've got to convince them that we're not cheating. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yes, yeah. Um, but yeah, Dan, just next game. Say that. Oh yes, yeah, good man, good man. So um, let's have a little look at the, the conferences actually. So we got Saint Domingo's and Vikings who, who managed to get off the mark with uh, with two wins. So essentially, the conference, the Eastern Conference, are on seven points. Um, in terms of the Central, they're on four points with Alcatraz and Pelham picking up the points and our logo firing. Dandy's not doing their bit. And then the Western Conference, short pump Des Moines, and the Steam Pigs and Gate as six points in total. So that would put the Eastern on top with seven, the Western on second on six, and the Central, the poor Central on, uh, sorry, the, the poor Western Central on four points. Yeah. Fixtures for next round, drivetrain or hosting Vikings, two back-to-back -back home games for drivetrain. You've got to think Mike's going to regret not taking advantage of all those chances he had. Tato's, um, Tato's St. Domingo's go against Memphis Reigns, who again have got back-to-back -back home games. Um, Alcatraz against Dandies. It is Hopkins against Duggan, the Dragons facing off against each other. And Pelham against their local fire. So we've got two central head-to-heads. Oh, everybody's playing the teams in their division. So yeah. we've got Eastern against Eastern, Central against Central, and um, and um, Western against Western. <laughs> Savage in there. This league concept boils my head. Um, Jens wants to see um, Emerson. A month ankle ligaments. Wow. Yeah, a month. And um, yeah, that's that's probably the only big one I spotted tonight, to be honest. Um, Champion, you're saying it's a great concept and it's mental. Absolutely. And who the fuck knows what's going to happen? We don't really know how the playoffs are going to work, mate, until we get there. We just know it's a best of three <laughs> yeah. head to head. Um, but we'll we'll strap in. Um, beyond that, there's the fixtures beyond that. So we do uh, we do kind of go you. back to the to the kind of head. Is it? Yeah, me and you. Yeah. Happy days. Happy days. We'll uh, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, yeah, so listen, cheers for dropping in. Cheers for being on Co-Coms, Dan. Um, hope everybody enjoyed it. And um, yeah, long live the the All-Star Atlantic League. Any thoughts, Dan? Yeah. Excellent. No, great start. Yeah, looking forward to it. It's going to be really good. Cheers, Fantastic. mate. Fantastic. See you soon, mate. Cheers.